Hello everybody. I'm Robbie and I'm going to be sharing with you what we use for our first graders curriculum. Now, <laughs> if you're sitting here looking at this picture thinking, holy cow, that is a lot of stuff. Yes, it is a lot of stuff. But some of these things are used as a resource. Um, not everything is used every day. It is mostly the Timber Doodle Elite curriculum. And they did just release the new 2017-2018 curriculum. And there were some changes, and I will go over those changes um, as I come across them, as I go through these things. But this would be a good way for you to decide, you know, do I really want to go that extra mile and get the Elite set? Um, are there things in there that maybe I want to leave out? Or, you know, are there some things that maybe I would just want to add to one of the smaller packages because they would be beneficial for my, my schooling. So I thought that this would be a good way to, to kind of go over that kit. Um, we have made a couple of substitutions. There are a few things that worked well, and, uh, and I mean, there are a lot of things that worked well, and there are a few things that did not. So I'll go over those things as well. Um, we'll do little mini reviews on, on these things. So this will be long. Get a cup of coffee, get you a soda, whatever, a cup of tea, and uh, sit back and enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this video was because I know when I was looking at Timber Doodle, and now we get ours through a local charter, and so we do have the secular kit. Um, I'm pretty familiar with their Christian kits, though, as far as what they substituted, so I will mention those uh, in case you're looking at their their traditional kit, which is a Christian-based um, kit. They are a Christian company, so their kits do have some Christian materials, not a lot, but they do have some. And the secular kit, of course, doesn't have those materials, so charter schools are able to use them. This is what the block set looks like. So each of the blocks, you have ones, twos, threes, fours, fives, uh, sixes are somewhere, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then hundreds. And then hundreds, of course, can be stacked. They lock. Um, so you can actually make a thousand cube with these as well. And these are so helpful. The colors, they memorize the colors so that when you're adding, say, eight plus five, you automatically know to get a brown and a blue and you can add them together. It makes it really quick when they're trying to do that. They don't have to count out the individual units. We really like this program a lot. Um, it does, <laughs> there are some things about it that have not worked really well for us. We are going to try something different next year. Not because I don't like the program, not because he's doing badly with it, but I'll explain here in just a second why we're kind of going to go in a different direction next year and of course that'll be a different video because I have no way to show that program we're going to be using to you nor do I have the um, picking up the book that fell nor do I have the materials to show you okay so but Matthew C comes with a a workbook this is the workbook as you can see there are way more um, uh, worksheets than you will possibly need. Boy, that butchered this book when I dropped it. Um, so there are A through E, F, G. So A through G on each week's lesson. So you get plenty of practice. So if they need more practice one week, you can give them extras. If they don't need as much practice another week, then of course you can, you know, don't have to use them all. If you need to go back and touch on a topic to review, you've got extra worksheets. So that's one thing I love about this program. There's nothing colorful or fancy about any of these worksheets. So I get a little bit of pushback, like, oh, do I have to do this? But it's it's very gentle in, in the, the way it progresses. It teaches a lot of mental math tricks, which I love. Now, the one thing about this is it's a mastery program. I tend to prefer a spiral program because I noticed that both he and I kind of get bored doing the same things. Not only that, but it wants... Go ahead, one more, baby. Um, it also tends to... Well, it's because it's a mastery program, it, they want you to know the math facts. They do give you manipulatives to use, but of course they don't want you... They eventually want you weaned off of those things. And here's where we're having trouble is we're having trouble memorizing the math facts. 
he can do all the mental math tricks. He can do all the math facts, you know, with ones, zeros, and twos. But once you start getting into anything like seven plus three, um, he should know that that is ten. But we still struggle with that, and he wants to count it out on his fingers, that sort of thing. So we want a more conceptual math where we can work on the math facts a little bit later. So that's why we're going to be doing something different, just to try it. We may come back to this. I don't know. We'll see, have to see how that goes next year. But we're going to try something different because, again, the, the program we're going to be using is more spiral, and it is a conceptual math program instead of a mastery math program. So... This, but this program does come with the student workbook, it comes with a DVD, it comes with a teacher manual. And I don't use the teacher manual much, but I hear that it really is valuable because it gives you some extra exercises and things that you can do if they need help with learning other, you know, concepts or whatever. But I haven't really used it. Um, this does not come with Timberdoodle. This is our reading program. I'll get to that later. Um, they also, now this is a change for this year. These are the, the wrap-ups. If you've never seen wrap-ups, they're great for drilling. And he, my son, has not a whole lot of patience for the drilling because, again, he struggles. But as long as it's things he's comfortable with, he can do in his head, the mental math, you know, even the tricks, we have a lot of fun with this. Um, you basically, this is minus 1, so you take the left number, 11 minus 1 is 10, and you wrap the string over to the 10, and you go through and you do all of them, and if you got them right, then you can see on the back, if the strings line up with the markings on the back, you know you got them right. These are fun. These are not going to be in the 2017, no, are they? Oh, they are. They are. They're not going to be in our the second grade kit. They are in the first grade kit. So these will be in there next year. So this is Science Fusion. Um, the secular kit with Timberdoodle comes, came with Interactive Science. We did not like it. So that's why we use Science Fusion. I'll do a separate review on this. We really do like Science Fusion. Um, it has a lot of interactive digital media that goes with it. This is a text workbook style. Um, it's it's a good program. I really like it. Okay, so that's where Timberdoodle now has made a change. They're no longer using the interactive science. They're using real science for kids, building blocks of science. And they're grade-specific science courses. Uh, real Science for Kids does have some topical courses as well. They do um, elementary biology, chemistry, and physics. But they also offer the grade level science, and that's what they're going to be doing this year. It comes with a lab manual, it comes with a teacher manual, it comes with a book. I've heard really good things about this program from Christians and non-Christians alike. Um, they really like this program. Um, they do apologia for the science in the regular kits, the, the, the Christian kits. But for the secular, they're using the Real Science for Kids. So definitely go take a look at that. Go to the Real Science for Kids website. It's Real Science for the number four kids. Or you can go to Timberdoodle and read up on that. Um, but uh, Science Fusion would, uh, review will have to be for another time. Um, okay, mathematical reasoning. This did not come with the kit, but it is offered on Timberdoodle. Before they start offering math, you see this was their primary math program, at least for the first couple, few years. I don't know how long, but this is the grade one. Um, we used this in kindergarten last year. Last year, they did not have Math UC as part of their program. They had mathematical reasoning, and we really liked it. It, it is one of those kind of all-in-one math programs. It, it shows math in a bunch of different ways. You know, counting, well, and it also introduces, you know, geometry concepts, fractions, um, money. It um, has some logic stuff in here. It's got some, you know, algebraic concepts. It's just a really good all-around program. It's very visual, very colorful. He really enjoys this. He always wants to do this instead of the math you see, um, but we use it to supplement. So I just kind of pick and choose what we're working, going to work on, and I skip around in here just depending upon what I'm trying to supplement for. Math you see, like I said, is a mastery program. So this alpha just is all addition, subtraction up to double digits at the end of the year. I think they introduced time at the very end. We're not quite there yet, 
Um, but, you know, I wanted to get some of those concepts in a little early and get some of these other concepts in. Plus, you know, number lines, things like that. They do uh, some standardized testing with our charter. Uh, we don't have to do it if we don't want to, but I do, I have so far chosen to do it. Um, and they introduce, you know, number line concepts and things like that that he wouldn't get through Matthew C. So, also, the number line is, is how he actually started understanding subtraction. He, he wasn't getting it with the blocks. I don't know. He kept trying to add the blocks together, and I kept trying to explain that, you, you know, we were doing subtraction now. We're taking away. And as long as I could give him a word picture, you know, if you eat five, I mean, if you have five cookies and you eat three cookies, how many do you have left? And then he could kind of get it. But just um, from the blocks, just from the numbers, he wasn't getting it. Finally, just looking at the, the number lines, um, where you jump forward and then jump back. He, he actually got it. It, it. He's a visual learner, a very visual learner. So um, anyway, I really like this. We, we supplement with this. I bought this on my own, um, the charter, because um, I have kind of pled my case. They're going to go ahead and let us supplement with this for next year as well. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, but that's that. Okay. Uh, I want you to wait on this one because this is one I purchased myself and I'll have to explain why. Um, okay, we're going to be jumping around quite a bit here. Smart cookies. This is a logic game. I love Timberdoodle for their logic and STEM focus. They really have a lot of focus on that. And this is included in their Elite Kit. It will be included next year. You basically have all these different colors and shapes of cookies and then you get a, a clue sheet and a baking pan. You have to lay the cookies out based on the clues and it might say, you know, the yellow square cookie can only go in, in this, this, or this spot, but it can't go in this spot or this spot. And so it gives you clues on all of that and then at the end, once you figure it out, you check yourself. So we really, really like that. Now, there are several, I should mention, there are several of the logic puzzle type things in this kit. So if you don't want more than one, you might tend to leave some things out, but we alternate. That way we're not doing the same thing every day. I don't know that this would last a whole year anyway if we did it every day. So we kind of just alternate and I let him choose many days which one we do. Okay, so you get a test practice if you do standardized testing or if you just want to kind of gauge where your kids are at or just kind of help them to understand how to do fill in the, uh, you know, bubble tests, that sort of thing. We haven't used that. Um, we have a resource provided to us for our map testing through Compass, um, Compass Odyssey. So that helps us with our testing. So we haven't used that. Doodle and draw spots and stripes and squiggles. This is really fun. One thing I've been really wanting to do is encourage the creativity for my six-year-old. And um, this book has really done that. As you can see, he doesn't like white space. <laughs> he doesn't like coloring white space. But um, it's been really fun for us. Um, just to hand-eye coordination. We need some work, obviously. But, you know, it's, it's a good tool. I really like it. And so we've had a lot of fun with that. I highly recommend that book. Um, let me pick up another art one. Now this is one we haven't used yet. Um, as you can see, he, we're still kind of working on the hand-eye coordination, um, you know, with the, the drawing. And I didn't want to overwhelm him. This one looks a little bit more difficult, but if your kid likes to draw, this is beautiful. These are perforated pages, so you can take the work out once they're done and put it up on the wall. Um, some of them are double spreads, but you know, you could still do that if you wanted to, but it's like a drawing prompt. It gives you a part of the picture and then you fill out the rest. So this is fantastic. We just haven't used it yet because I don't want to overwhelm him with the art just yet because he's, uh, he's just getting to the point where he's enjoying it and I don't want to discourage that. So we're holding on to that for now. Um, this is kind of artsy, but I'll get to that in a minute. All right, this is first language lessons. Now, um, this is part of the language arts that comes with the Timberdoodle Elite Kit. I think it comes with the smaller kits as well. It's level one. It's by Jessie Wise for the Well-Trained Mind. She's the author of the Well-Trained Mind series. 
this is a really beautiful program he loves it my son absolutely loves it it's very gentle it's not a workbook at all it is literally a completely scripted program but each lesson only takes a few minutes and um, there's lots of little poems that they can recite and memorize and it, this really surprised me at how easily he memorizes different things like this I just kind of was not looking forward to this we actually started this late in the year because I just didn't think he was ready but it, it, he was and um, in fact it's pretty repetitive a lot of people don't like the repetitiveness of it but he likes it and so common nouns proper nouns we've been working on for a while and he still sometimes forgets so I think it's a really well done program we do supplement though for what I would consider grammar now this does go into some other things besides just grammar it goes into like who is your aunt who is your uncle you know this is your father's brother and you know sister and blah 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 that sort of thing what are your cousins so it goes in you know, helping them memorize their address you know little things like that so I really do recommend that um, like I said my son loves it he jumps up and down and bounces around while he you know answers my questions and he just we just love it okay this is phonics pathways I haven't used this because we're using all about reading but this comes with the second grade program um, we started all about reading because in kindergarten we used what they included for phonics in the kindergarten kit and it was uh, how to learn to read in 20 easy lessons it, oh that did not go well um, I mean it it worked okay but there were tears and frustration with that program and so we ditched it about halfway through and decided that we were going to do all about reading so we haven't done this I would recommend this like if you're needing um, a phonics program and you don't want to get a separate phonics program like all about reading then I do recommend this based on what other people told me about it I had on a message board a homeschool message board a, a reading specialist who had been teaching reading for years and years she highly recommended this she said it was the best reading program she'd ever used so this one we haven't used I can't give you a personal review but I've heard really good things about it so um, don't feel like you have to you know buy another reading program if you don't want to that should work now this is what we're using to supplement for the language lessons this is just something I picked up at a garage sale thrift store I can't even remember it's just in my stash of stuff um, and this has got you know just basic everything you know it's one of those all-in-one books but it's got some nice stuff about language um, you know complete sentences how to determine a complete sentence from a, a fragmented sentence you know how to um, you know what verbs are um, how to um, you know just simple little worksheets they're not difficult he does not mind doing these it's not colorful not fancy but you know they sell these books all over the place I don't know that you'd need it necessarily but I just wanted something a little extra um, you know you have to fix the sentence you know capital letters periods it just didn't seem to be covered in there thus far so I just wanted a little something to get him familiar with some of those concepts so I'd bought that on my own <clears throat> Now, handwriting is not included in seven in set 2017-18 kits. They've eliminated handwriting. I'm not real sure why, but um, they do still sell this. This is the Getty Dubay Italic Handwriting Series. I love, 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 love this because it doesn't teach, like, say your B, the line with the circle. Well, you know, we'd always end up with the line and the circle. <laughs> and so, you know, or line and circle you know it was really frustrating us last year to learn lettering the traditional way this is italic lettering so your D is down up you don't lift your pencil look at the improvement oh my gosh so much improvement in my son's handwriting I can't even tell you this is wonderful um, he finished it it's really small though he just went through the alphabet and uh, upper and lowercase letters and then it's kind of done so if you want extra practice this is where people kind of get frustrated with this program but you can buy this font this Getty Dubay font it's like ten dollars you can do your own worksheets you can um, uh, I, I actually did my own I found a font that was almost there the only thing that I can tell that's really different is the Y instead of being the the curved Y it's the little triangular Y 
for the lowercase, and that's really about the only difference. So I made up my own worksheets for practice, and we're going to do scripture verses for that. They sell a, a Christian-based handwriting program through Timberdoodle as well, if you would prefer that. That used to come in the uh, the regular kit. I don't, I didn't look at the regular kit to see if they're including it next year. I don't think so because I've heard people say that they're not including handwriting for some reason, and I don't know why. They substituted, and I'll tell you what they substituted. But it's not handwriting related. It is. Let me look at my notes. Rory Story Cubes, which. There are nine cubes in this little kit. You roll them and they give you pictures. Each cube has a bunch of pictures on it and it's a story prompt thing. So you, you can have your kids do creative storytelling, making up their own stories, um, either verbal or written if your child is um, advanced enough or in writing to do that. So, which I think is a cool thing. Um, but you, if you want a handwriting program, um, you'll have to add that in. Okay, Story of the World. Story of the World is a highly renowned um, program. It is written in story form. This is a story book. It literally starts um, in the early nomad, which, you know, depending upon when, what your view is of history, you may want to skip ahead a little bit. It does not go into, um, you know, prehistoric man t traditionally. But anyway, you'll have to just look at this and see where you want to start. Uh, if you if you have a real strong opinion on on this sort of thing, but it's written in story form to help kids understand the um, you know the history of the world. And this is the audio version. It's the same thing that's here, but it's an audio version. And then there's this really big workbook. A lot of people will take this in and cut the binding off and put it in a binder or have it spiral bound. Um, the spiral bound probably wouldn't be the best idea. I'd do the three hole because these are activity sheets that you can take and copy if you have um, multiple students or you can just use the sheets and you want them loose. But we tried this. I could not get him to sit through even one story. I mean, I was losing him within a couple of paragraphs. He just wasn't getting it and I just knew this was not going to work. I think it was a maturity thing for us. Um, I have a very young first grader. He turns six in September. So this is probably what the problem was. We're going to try again next year. But for now, I decided to go with, and what did I do with it? Oh, yeah. I just got me a used book of a basic social studies program. And for his uh, maturity level this was perfect it's really colorful it's at his reading level he can read this on his own we can sit and talk about it it teaches you know citizenship where families live you know different kinds of transportation it shows um, some things about Johnny Appleseed uh, different characters from American history it talks some, does some geography so um, we decided to do this because if you just google um, uh, social studies workbooks they have their old workbooks where you could just print them right on their website I didn't find a link to it I, but there is a I mean it's like from their website you couldn't find it like if you go to their website I don't know that you could find this it's buried in their site but Google search will find it and I printed it off and we do it and I really enjoy that it's very very low-key and enjoyable um, electro dough this was STEM, this was in their STEM um, kit last, I mean, part of the STEM section of their kit, and it's not going to be included next year. And I would give you a review of this, except we haven't done it yet. And I've been kind of holding on to it because he loves science. It's like his favorite thing. He would love this. And I don't know why I'm hoarding it and not doing it, but I've been hoarding it. So I'm kind of thinking maybe over the summer. I like to do, I don't do school, school year round, but we always do something during the summer. We always keep, I always keep him reading. I always keep him doing science. I always keep him doing a few things here and there. So I haven't done this yet. I can't tell you how great it is or not, but uh, they do have it on Amazon if you decide you want this. But it looks really cool. You literally, it's kind of like snap circuits, but you use dough, and you're connecting wires and running electricity through and trying to to close your circuit, uh, or, or, you know, keep your circuit, whatever I'm trying to say. I'm not very technical that way, but 
anyway, it looks really cool. So, there's that. It won't be in the kit next year. So, okay. Um, the astronaut sticker book. I want to do the astronomy, the Apologia astronomy this summer. He kept wanting all winter long for us to pull out our telescope. And it was just too cold. It gets really cold where we live. So, it was just too cold. And so, over the summer, I plan on doing a lot with the telescope and astronomy. So, I purchased the, the Apology on my own. And I want to tie this in. Which brings me to this aquarium. This is in the art kit, in their art. This is looks so cool, but I've been hoarding it because I want to do it when we study space. Um, he's fascinated with space. He already knows all the planets and pretty much knows the order that they that they're in and all of that. So, yes, go ahead. Yes, I'm being a bad mommy and let my child watch TV, but I've got to get this. I wanted to get this done, and it's uh, it's the easiest way to do it. So. So this looks really fun. It's velvet, um, but it's more than just painting. It's like liquid ink, and you can let the colors kind of run together and marble, and I'm just real excited to try this. I think you needed a little more hand-eye coordination, too, before we did it, so I'm not upset that we've put this off a little, but I'm very excited to do it, and this is up his alley when it comes to art. He loves to paint, loves to do any anything that involves anything like this, so... I'm very excited about that, and that will be in the next year's kit. This is the thing that they did discontinue out of the kit, like my glare. Okay, this is called uh, something in the woods. Where is it? <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember what it's called. It's on here somewhere. Um, here, can you hand me that paper? No. Mine. Thank you. All right. Um, <laughs> there. Get the glare off. It's called A Little Adventure in the Woods. Um, they have this on closeout right now for $7. So if you like this kind of kit, you can go over there and just buy it outright or add it to your, your Timberdoodle kit. They must be discontinuing it. So that's why they're not including it in the kits anymore. But this is like a three-dimensional art project. And there's... It's from three ages three to six. E, anyway, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, those are duplicates. One, two, three, four projects in here. So th this is neat. Um, for seven bucks, I would I would do it. We haven't opened it yet. Um, like I said, I've been kind of gentle on the art just because I want him to enjoy it, and so I've kind of held on to this. It does seem a little more girl oriented just because I know girls like to play with little buttons and little things we'll have to see I just don't I haven't tried it yet I don't know um, but they've substituted something that I think is going to be really exciting um, I don't think you want to look at my scribbles do, 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 do. the craftastic tinkering kit if I can figure out how to post a picture of it here I will but um, definitely check out their website and look at that it's a tinkering kit and it, you know you can make little puppets and little all kinds of little art projects with this kit and it looks really cool um, I think it was a good swap for the most part um, not that I don't think there's anything wrong with this kit I just think the bang for the buck is going to be better for the other one honey we're out of cheese sticks you just ate go sit go 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 thank you no we're out of snackies too I guess I need to go to the store no, we're out of cookies too. Go. <laughs> yes, I need to go to the store. Okay, I had to deal with that. Okay, this is the Daily Six Trait Writing. This is their writing program. It is, um, at the beginning of the year, I was a little concerned that we were, um, he wasn't ready for this in terms of writing. So we didn't start this until not too, too long ago, actually. And I, I think it was a perfect... Um, perfect time to start it for us. It even said in the kit, um, the the guide, that you know your child might not be ready for this right at the very beginning of the year, but he was definitely ready for it when we started it, and it helps them learn to write in a very gentle way. I am really thrilled with this book. Of course, Evan Moore does really good stuff. So you start off, you know, helping them. It starts off helping them try to figure out a topic, how to figure out a good topic, how to figure out the details of your topic, how to um, you know, the beginning, the middle, the end of a story, um, how to just draw pictures for, um, 
you know, for your story, that kind of thing. It's really neat. I, I'm thrilled with that. Now, beginning geography. This was actually in last year's kit. This is what's in the first grade kit. This one, he was not ready for. It says grades K through 2, but it really needs someone who knows how to write, and I was having to help him. The concepts he was getting, but he he needed help with the writing, and I just felt like we, would, we were going to wait. So when I started this, I thought, oh, we don't need that. But this is all map work. This introduces multiple concepts. I we've actually made it about halfway through this, and when he was the map stuff was 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 good, and he seemed to really like this because it was easy for him at that point. I went back to this because it introduces concepts he wasn't learning in the other. So um, I think this is a good predecessor to this. So if you want to sh substitute them, they will let you do that. Um, if you have this from last year, if you bought their Timber Doodle kit, maybe you've already used it, um, or maybe you did the same thing I did, but I highly recommend this before this, not be because this one is strictly on maps. And But he learned a lot out of this. Compass Rose, Map Key, um, Symbols, North, South, East, West, and stuff like that. But like this one introduced, med you know, the... the um, Oh, the scale, you know, how to use a scale on a map and, you know, how to measure. And Okay, my maximum recording time had been reached. Okay, so now the Christian kit includes pathway readers, which have their classic readers. And classic readers tend to have Christian themes in them, so they weren't included in the kit, in the secular kit. This set of books is included in both, but you will need some additional reading material for the secular kit which is another reason why we went with All About Reading, because it kind of kills both birds with one stone. It's got the phonics, plus it's got the readers. But these books are fantastic. They're graphic novels, but they're written, you know, for kids. And the illustrations are beautiful, and the stories are fun, and he just loves these. He's This is level two, so he just started reading these just a few months ago. He probably couldn't have read these at the beginning of the year. In fact, I know he couldn't have. Um, but these are fun. Now, these are both from the Benny and Penny. Um, this is, um, these are two other graphic novels, or graphic books that are, I hate calling them novels when they're this little, but you know what I mean. Uh, but they're both level two as well. They're just different authors. And these are the ones he's really into right now. But he loves graphic novels. He will definitely read these. We absolutely love these. And these are the, what prompted him to start actually reading on his own. He would not give me pushback when it came to reading, but he would never do it on his own. And he's actually, this has sort of sparked a love of reading, and I'm thrilled with that. Okay, so, spelling you see. Because we're using all about reading, I kind of thought maybe we should be using all about spelling. But since this came with the kit, I thought we would try it, and I really love this. This teaches spelling from a practical and a repetitive standpoint. So, you're literally doing copy work and learning fun verses and rhymes. You know, Jack and Jill went up the hill to patch, patch, fetch a pail of water. You know, roses are red, violets are blue. And I've just been really shocked at how well he has done with this. Um, this is where we're at now. Um, uh, let's see. You start with each week has A, B, C, D, E, I think, five days. And we're on a four-day week. So... We do skip one of these a week, but, you know, it tells you what, it, you know, you're coloring the um, the tricky Y guy in one color and the vowel chunks in another. Uh, you do the copy work, and then the last one is dictation, and then you see how well they do with it. And they say um, in the instructions, if it takes more than 10 minutes, then just stop. They don't need to finish it, that they'll get enough repetition through the program. Now, we'll keep going as long as he's not huffing and puffing, and I'm tired of this, and my hand hurts, you know, that kind of stuff. So, but I was just really surprised, you know, at what he, um, at what he was able to do. Where it is, there's the one we, skip. oh, come on, all right. Itsy Bitsy Spider went up. We screwed this up. I can't remember how I screwed it up, but it was my fault. Up the water spout. But he got spout. He got spider. He got down. 
and came and rain and I mean he got all these words right um dried I mean impressive I seriously I'm very impressed with this so if it ain't broke don't fix it um but yeah okay mini lux this comes with the elite kit this is coming in next year's kit uh it is a fun program this is also this is a thinking skills program but there's math and and all kinds of stuff in here look at all these books that come with it this is two different complete sets and i have them organized by difficulty and topic these thicker books are more difficult actually six and up like a tornado siren testing lovely um so anyway, these, these are challenging. When we first got these, my whole family was sitting on the floor trying to do these. And my kids' friends were over here. They were trying to do these. They are really fun. And then, of course, these are all, I've got them organized by category and difficulty. Um, so the one we're currently doing is this critical thinking one uh, in level two. Hold on. This shows you the difficulty one, two, and three, or skill level. Um, you basically, this is a little quickie demonstration. Okay, so the object of this is you have to match this shadow to the object that um, made the shadow. You put the clear plastic over the answers and then you look at number one and which one is number one which would be this one so you take the number one and you put it here when you're done you flip this over and it makes a pattern if the pattern matches that you know you got them all right so it's self-correcting your kids can do them on their own and he my son enjoys these a lot we love this but again, we kind of alternate what we do on critical thinking because there are multiple um, critical thinking, multiple critical thinking um, projects, sets, whatever, in here. Okay. Ooh, where am I? All right. Plus, plus. This is part of the stem. These uh, are blocks that interlock. They're not like Legos because they're all the same shape but the way they lock together makes them uh, able to make you able to to do three-dimensional objects and as you can see in the picture there's a camera sorry about my tornado siren um, you can do two-dimensional objects these are the flowers that's he's still working on two-dimensional he hasn't quite done three-dimensional projects yet and there's a car so these are fantastic and he'll make little things and play with them for hours he just loves them um, this is another stem kit that comes with this. It is fantastic. This and this are both in the next year's kit. Um, this is, uh, this has four, no, three, three different deals. It's, they're motorized, um, little robots and they build them and then of course they watch them go and the instructions are very cl clearly drawn out and it's definitely uh, age appropriate. They're big too. Like when it's done, it sits about it sits. They sit about this side. I know these are showing little. They're not little because they use the same base motorized body. So these are just small images. This is about life size in terms of the size of what they end up being like, and we really love that. Now we do Bible on our own um, because, and I, even the the secular. I mean, even the Christian kit doesn't come with a Bible program. It just incorporates um, different, mainly the science and the history, and then the phonics readers um, incorporate Christian themes, but they don't include a Bible program. So we do this little devotional every day um, with Veggie Tales, and we really like it. It's, they're just little simple daily uh, scripture reading, the, um, the lesson to learn on the scripture reading, the thought of the day, and a prayer. So we do these every day, and there he can read those on his own. This is from Awanas. I don't know if any of you recognize this. He's since he's technically in kindergarten because um, he has a September birthday. He's still in the kindergarten class here, but these are so wonderful. They're just like they do a story every week, a scripture memory, a scripture story, um, as an illustrated story. 
and then a scripture memory verse. And, and we just love this. I just incorporate this into our homeschool. Um, the day after he's been to Awana's on Wednesday night, um, starting Thursday, we'll go through the whole lesson and the scripture verse. And then from that point forward, we'll just kind of touch on the, the lesson, the scripture, and then he'll re remember the verse or practice the verse. We love it. I covered up his name. Okay, this I got because it was recommended, and I really like it. It's enjoying God's gifts, and it comes with a teacher, um, the teacher manual, which has been spiral bound, uh, sorry, spiral bound, notebook bound, uh, whatever I'm trying to say, put in a binder. The um, They can be a little wordy, but they're good. They go over the Bible story, the scriptures that are with it, it does a paraphrase, and then it does an illustrated story. Uh, then it has the little activities to go with it in the book. And there's always two two pages for the most part. Sometimes there's a coloring sheet like that um, to color. Uh, let's see, there's a coloring sheet. So, you know, I've we've really enjoyed this. It's helping him um, with learning the Bible stories. This is not from the kit from this year. This is from kindergarten kit, but I wanted to mention it because if you haven't used Timberdoodle before and you want some science experiments that are age appropriate, this is a phenomenal kit. It's got the little teeny plastic, um, the little teeny polymer beads that soak up water and grow to like, you know, 500 times their normal size and you can make, you know, um, make snow, you can make um, tornadoes. Um, I ought to show you the tornado we did. He loves that thing. He plays with it all the time. Uh, so it's just got a lot of cool stuff in it. I just wanted to mention it. If you wanted something that's a little more hands-on um, in science, this is a great one. In fact, I think it includes some messy science. It seems like when I looked at this, this company changed this kit a little bit and it includes some messy science too, if you like that. Um, the Geo Puzzles was, again, from last year's kit, but these are really well done, um, and, of course, they're available. You can add on if you want or find them somewhere else, but I just wanted to recommend these because they include a world puzzle, USA and Canada, Europe, Latin America, Asia, and Africa, and every puzzle piece is a different state um, or country or whatever, like from Africa, all the different countries have their own puzzle piece. USA and Canada has their, all the pieces have their own, all the states and provinces have their own pieces. So it really helps them learn the shapes of the states as well. Can't recommend that enough. We really like it. This is something we do use, um, but we did on our own. It's a daily workbook, and you can find these um, on various homeschool websites. Some of these are provided generously for free. This was free on the homeschoolhideout.com. And I think you just need to just subscribe to her newsletter and then you can get a download. It was very easy to do. But I laminated all these sheets and we use a, a wet erase marker. He's a lefty, so dry erase just smears everywhere when he uses it. So the dry erase, I mean the wet erase works much better for us. Um, it dries faster and it doesn't smear off once it's dry. So it's just a neat way to practice just some of the stuff that, you know, they need to know, you know, their address, their full name and spelling of their full name. Um, you know, the birth date, like what year they were born, inclu you know, including the year they were born, you know, spelling of this, the, the months of the year, um, what to do in an emergency, your phone number, you know, that kind of thing. But I mean, there's tons of stuff in this. There's no way we could do this, this the whole book every day. We just, we just don't. But I pick and choose what we work on. And like he's learned the whole Pledge of Allegiance just from this book, um, just from the copy work. So this is goes into the day of the week and the time. Um, if you want to keep track of the days of school, um, today's number, you could, you know, greater than, less than, equal to, just little, you know, calendar work. This is a really good one. I do highly recommend it. Um, do you want to give them some it's got some ideas for what they you know, finding out if you what they might want to learn about their prayer list what they're thankful for what they're eating um signing we played with this one day that was really fun playing with the different signs for the, the different letters uh, that was a nice little refresher for me because i didn't remember some of mine what they love today i feel sight words i mean it's just all kinds of stuff in here states um, if you want to learn some Spanish, um, the Pledge of Allegiance, he did that just two or three times and now he knows the whole Pledge of Allegiance. Um, 
the continents and the oceans and then this there's the rest are just calendars so if you wanted to do some calendar work and focus on a month uh, you know every month you could do that too so we do that we spend about 15 minutes or so and then call it a day this is the thinking putty mixed by me thinking putty they've took taken this out of the 2017-18 kit they're doing something else it's called they offer that though but they're doing something else called morph sonic green they're doing the green color in the first grade kit um and it's kind of like a it's kind of like play-doh it's kind of like a combination of play-doh and i don't even know you know the little balls, that stuff that stuck together, had the little foamy balls that stuck together, but it's not. It's not the little balls. Anyway, <sighs> Thinking Putty. I have a love-hate relationship with Thinking Putty. This is fun because you get to mix your own. You can do colored, sparkled, glow-in-the-dark, um, all that kind of stuff. You can bounce it like a ball. You can spread it out and just, you know, like slime. You can let it set it down it'll ooze slowly the problem with it is it will get in your carpet on your clothes and your hair if they're not careful um he's pretty good about it but if you just like he left a chunk on his bed one time and oh that made a big mess rubbing alcohol will get it out but they sell this pre-mixed in a large tin they sell this and then like I said, it used to be included in the kits, and now they're substituting that other stuff. But if you like the idea of this, or you're familiar with it, or heard of it, you can still get it. Okay, Rush Hour. I haven't talked about Rush Hour. This little game back here, this is a logic puzzle game. They don't offer this anymore. It's not on their website anymore. Amazon does offer this. We love this. That's why I'm bringing it up, because we absolutely love, 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 love this. It is a logic game. You have the cards. We've actually gotten to the hard ones now. Um... You set it up like it, it says to do, and then the object is to get the ice cream truck out, but you have to move these cars out of the way um, in a certain sequence. And there's only one answer, there's only one way to do it. And then you can get the car. See, there's a little opening in the, in the, there's a little opening here, and the car slides out. So the ice cream truck is always going to be on this line, so he can just drive straight out. So we love this. It has a little bag that you can put it in. Um, they are substituting something else. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's an Evan Moore workbook called Critical and Creative. So um, I have mixed feelings about that. I love Evan Moore. It's probably very good, and I haven't seen it in person, but... Um, I prefer the hands-on over the workbook so uh, because you can't I don't know there probably are some other things you could substitute for that if you didn't want another workbook but just keep that in mind that they did do a substitution and they may have other things they have tons of critical thinking stuff not everything that they offer is in their kits so just keep that in mind these kits are so customizable if you are an eclectic homeschooler um, this is essentially their eclectic choices, and you can substitute um, among a bunch of different things, or you can leave some stuff out and still get the kit discount, because you get a discount, of course, when you get the kit, and you can substitute or remove things from the kit, and it'll give you guidelines as to how much you can remove before you start losing the discount, So, um, and it's pretty generous, so keep that in mind. So that's kind of why I wanted to do, to do this, is because... Um, you know, people who consider this for their homeschool, you know, probably are just like, oh, do I really want all the, do I need all of this? You know, well, maybe now you can decide um, if you do or not. Uh, now, All About Reading, I'll just touch on. There's a ton of reviews on All About Reading. If you want to see an in-depth review, I can be more than happy to do that. Um, these come with, uh, they come through level one, two, three, and four. Actually, and there's a preschool level, too. We did the preschool level. He flew through it, learned all of his letters um, and letter sounds. Mom, can I want more? Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, one, two, three, and four, we did the preschool level. So, rather than starting the level one, because we had the phonics, um, how to read 20 easy lessons in our kindergarten kit. We decided to use that. I wish we had just started this. It's a lot more gentle. It's a lot more hands-on. This workbook has, of course, we've taken out all of the fun pages. Let me, we're almost done with this level two, actually. We've done level one and level two in one year. 
because um, once it clicked for him, we just started flying through it. But I still continue to use it because it gives rules for why certain things are the way they are. Like, why do we not say for the word hashed, um, why do, do we not say hash ed? Well, ed, you only say ed when the ending sound of the base word is a t or a d. I didn't know that. I just knew, you know, I just knew how to read the word. So, anyway, it gives you these little games. Like, you would cut out these pieces, and I don't know what you would do with it, because the instructions are in the teacher manual. You do need both. I will tell you that, because you cannot tell what you're supposed to do with these just by looking at the game. You have to have the teacher manual to tell you what to do. Um, but then it gives you lots of sentence practice, lots of things. These are all perforated pages. I don't take these out. I only take out the game pages. Oh, the gumball. Like, I guess you put all the words in the, you put all of these in the gumball machine, and then you read the word, and if you get it right, you get to take that gum, you know, that piece of gum. They're real simple little games, but, I mean, it works. They really, really, really work. And then the readers are phenomenal. Every word in these readers is decodable. Every story you read is at the level of whatever lesson they're at. You don't get introduced to words that they haven't learned the phonics for. They should be able to decode every single word in the story. And I cannot tell you how much we've loved this program. Um, you also get letter tiles and a magnetic board. I might as well show you that real quick. This is our magnetic board. Uh, you can see how far we've gone in the level two. Um, so you get all of these tiles and, um, I've actually pulled all the tiles out. Not all of these are needed for level two. These level, these tiles go through level four. We are actually skipping level three because I, based on what I can tell, he knows the phonics sounds that are introduced in level three. And I may find out that I re regret that, um, but we'll see so anyway we're skipping level three and going to level four so this includes tiles for level four since we're getting ready to start it but um but yeah uh we just when this light this this board is the one you can get at walmart and it's the perfect size for this program so um there you go all right well i hope you enjoyed this little review it wasn't so little um but i'll I'm, i plan on doing in-depth reviews on some of this stuff and um if you want to keep watching uh keep subscribe to my channel uh it's new my speaking skills in front of the camera my camera skills i mean we need some work here say so, so be patient with me and but pl plenty more to come um trust me i've i've uh got lots of plans for this this channel so uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day